I watched this film and I was expecting a love story, you know, to shed a few tears. But there should be a warning label on this movie because I was <laughs> sobbing. Chris. So life doesn't always go according to plan. Sometimes our purpose Chris. is bigger than we ever imagined. Please come back. I mean, it's based on a true story, so what is it like playing a character that's still alive? I mean, from my perspective, it's uh, it's lovely. Uh, you, you, I mean, you do feel a certain kind of responsibility to the person. Um, and I was playing Leslie Bacardi, who's kind of a really fantastic person, so I, you know, got to inhabit her life, which was interesting, but also talk to her about it a little bit to kind of get her perspective on the, on the story. They were on set at times. It was kind of surreal. Do you remember there was a scene where we were in the airport and they were sitting in the background, like watching their two characters meet? Yeah. That's so they're watching so themselves meet. I didn't even meet. know that. Yeah. Oh my God. It was really kind of cute and strange. You know, meeting, meeting, uh, we, we had a chance to sit down with them, have a whole dinner with them, and, and, and spend some. I guess some really good quality time with with uh, elements of their family as well, and not you know not just uh, getting to know them, but also you know the dynamics of the family and 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 uh, the love they have for each other. Really, it's a really beautiful thing. I mean, this is a you know I played Jorge. He's he's a great man, a very generous and and uh, uh, strong willed character. I guess you know there was a lot of people who never thought he would make it to the to that age, the age he is now, and, and uh, it's it's truly admirable, really, to, to speak to somebody like that and be able to portray him was great. I mean, this movie shows that you can't plan your life. We all try and figure out what we're going to be doing for the rest of our lives, but it will throw something at you that you're not expecting. So I want to yeah. know what is on y'all's bucket list? What do you have to do while you're still here on Earth? I mean, for me, there's like a lot of places that I want to travel to, a lot of things that I, I want to see. Yeah, I think that's a big thing, like see as much of the world and other cultures and other people and their experiences as I can. I think it's more an approach, how you do it, how you do it, like bring your full self to whatever it is that's happening kind of thing. Yeah, it's a, yeah, that's a really, really great answer, you know, like, you know, it, it's instead of instead of adding more things to, to the bucket or the, the things that you do is whatever you do, you do it well. This is going to movie theaters. We've all been watching shows on our couches, Netflix, but this is actually in theaters, which is a different experience. And I want to know what's your favorite part about going to the movies. That was my thing since I was a kid. I loved going to Yes. I didn't even know I was going to be in the business back then, but uh, it's it's a way to to, to escape the day to day and and maybe offer a different angle. Stuff at home, you can pause, you can get up, you can leave, you can shut it off. But when you're in a theater, it captures all of your attention, and the experience you have is, is also so much more heightened by the experiencing it around so many other people. I think that I miss that the most about like the, the way it, all, it becomes all consuming. Practical tip, this movie is a bit of a tearjerker. So if you do have a mask, you can use it as a tissue. Yes, social distance and you don't have to bring tissues. Just grab your mask and tap it right there. There you go. That's a good tip. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to me. I hope everyone goes and sees Two Hearts in theaters October 16th. I believe the connections are everywhere. The kindness of a stranger, the first heartbeat of a baby. Is that it's... No, that's the umbilical cord. The love of your family. No matter what happens, there's always a reason. And I believe each one of us has a purpose. Even if we can't see it. Do you?